know, the white boy wouldn't do the truth without without 50. Mm-hmm. Right? And I'm like, that's when I start saying crazy stuff, because I start looking and I go, oh, that uh, should be going. Guys, y'all already know the drama between 50 Cent and Jay-Z has been going on for years. But this time, 50 is ready to take things to a whole new level. Turns out, Dame Dash is looking to sell his one-third stake in the iconic Rockefeller Records. And you better believe 50 Cent is about to swoop in and make a move. But this isn't just your average business deal. 50 smells blood in the water, and he's ready to use this as the ultimate power play against his old rival Hall. As we all all know one third of Rockefeller Inc., which owns Reasonable Doubt, is for sale. You know, 50 loves a good troll, and from the sounds of it, he's got some serious dirt he's about to expose on how Jay Z and the whole Rockefeller crew were allegedly scamming artists for years. The best part, Dame is even throwing in an original Rockefeller chain if the bid goes over a certain amount. Can you imagine 50 Cent strutting around with that thing, constantly trolling Jay Z on social media? It's gonna be an absolute meme gold mine, I'm telling you. So, if you do wanna buy, uh, one third of Rockefeller Inc. You are gonna have to bring some bread and anything over 10 million, I'm gonna sweeten the pot. You get an original Rockefeller chain from off my neck. Some fans are already saying 50 and Dame need to just let it go and move on. But I got a feeling they're about to be in for a rude awakening. It all started when Dame Dash, one of the co-founders of Rockefeller Records, announced that he's looking to sell his one-third ownership stake in the label. And get this, he's even sweetening the deal by throwing in an original Rockefeller chain if the bid goes over $10 million. Talk about a power move, am I right? Now you already know 50 Cent can't resist stirring up some drama, so the rumor mill is buzzing that he's already slid into Dame's DMs with a fat offer. But Jay-Z's lawyers ain't having any of it. They wasted no time filing some legal paperwork to make sure the rights to Jay's iconic debut album, Reasonable Doubt, revert back to him by the year 2031. That's a major chess move, fam. See, the minimum bid for Dame's Rockefeller shares is a cool $1.2 million. And whoever buys in is basically just a minority owner with zero real decision-making power. Plus, they only got until two. 2031 before Jay can swoop in and take back the rights to Reasonable Doubt, which is the crown jewel of the whole Rockefeller empire. But 50 Cent, he could care less about all that legal mumbo jumbo. You know he's more interested in getting his revenge on Jay Z than anything else. Their beef has been bubbling for over 20 years, ever since 50 dropped that track How to Rob and took some shots at Hav back in the day. The tension just kept building over the years, with 50 constantly calling out out Jay's superiority complex and accusing him of screwing over Rockefeller artists left and right. I mean, we've heard some wild stories, fam, like how 50 thinks Jay deliberately sabotaged the release of DMX's sixth album just because he was worried X might outshine him. No, uh, we don't know. What do you, mean you don't know? How do you, how do you listen to a whole album, pick a single, shoot a video, then don't know? Mm, okay, I see what's really good. You're trying to eliminate the competition. You know, because at first you retire, you know, you know, then get me off the label, now you're back rapping again. And I was like, in my, my in my opinion, in my mind, this is what I believe. I was like, he can't rap better than me. So he, on that tour was the most acapellas ever. Every everything was cut the music off. I'm the Dookie Dookie Dookie. <laughs> And then there's the whole Beanie Siegel situation where 50 claims Jay-Z intentionally held back Beanie's success because he was scared he might get too big. Even the late Great Big L allegedly suspected Jay-Z might have been involved in his unsolved murder back in the day. Crazy stuff, right? After all that good shit, and he said no, but it was like the way he said it. And he put his head down, he was like, no, I've never been crushed like that ever in my life. Now, 50 Cent is apparently ready to blow the lid off all of these alleged Rockefeller scams and shady dealings. Word on the street is he's just itching to use this auction as his chance to get under Jay-Z's skin and expose him for the ruthless businessman he thinks he is. Can you imagine 50 Cent strutting around with that original Rockefeller chain, constantly trolling Jay on social media and revealing all the dirty behind-the-scenes secrets? It's going to be an absolute meme gold mine, I'm telling you. This whole situation is just a big old mess, but you know I'm here for the drama. Can't wait to see how it all plays out.